have a leather jack jacket. I have a seal, and I have a nut sack made of steel. I totally butchered that. Let me use that. I have a leather jacket. I have a seal. I have a nut sack made of steel. I love that part in the episode when he said that. Come on, man. Give me a little smile on my face. Boy, we're the scale on the income since it is partially adopted from issue 164. Okay, let's get it on. I didn't know that before. The death, so yeah, I go. I named Sanctuary Worker. And we'll see it comes in date. Okay, so this episode is. You want to do it? have to fire. She kind of like. Um. But like I liked um a fight when with uh, Rick and Daryl. Uh, after we once they see that the trucks can explode, um they like Daryl just goes and, and helps Rick up and everything like that. And then they, they just both stop fighting and they know that they're not gonna fight or anything like that because they can't do anything to the bombs, Daryl can't blow up the sanctuary and everything like that. And the reason why they start fighting is because um Daryl wanna blow the sanctuary. And kill everyone, but Nick didn't. I'm not Nick, but Rick didn't want to do that because it'd kill innocents like the workers and everything like that. Um, when Negan was inside that thing with uh, uh, Gabriel, I almost said Eugene, the sanctuary, uh, my vagina, ate, um, Regina, and Simon, Jean, Gavin, uh, what's his name? And Dwight, they're all like, because they're all like kind of villagers, they're all like just having their little talks and everything like that. Um, Eugene goes and visits Dwight and gives him some stuff and everything like that. But I'm kind of just summarizing everything um, right now. Um, the workers get mad because they don't have water and everything like that. And one worker dies, like it showed down there, that one worker died. And um, then Gabriel and he can come back. And someone says thank God for Negan that he's there, that he's alive, that he's a person. Um, and Negan tells Gabriel that's why um, he's there. Because everyone else dies. And that's kind of like the Here's Negan backstory. Where everyone else died except for Negan. And like, Negan didn't want to know everyone, anyone's names because he knew that they were just going to die anyway. Um, because he somehow always survived, but everyone else died. And, uh, yeah. This it. But, I think when, um, Gabriel and each in the space, Negan were in that horde, I don't know, I don't know, I always want to say Eugene. But when they were, like, in that horde, like, when they were just getting out, um, I think that they should have died there, and, like, just continued to live after the walkers, because they were died there in, in real life. And like you don't see how like they escape, like once the walkers fall on them. You don't see how they escape or anything like that, which is kinda of like you like to forget about that. But this kinda of takes place like some of the episode takes place like where we last left off in episode four. But some of the episode also take like Rick and Daryl fighting that takes place there. But some of the episode also takes place, um in the in episode one of season eight, the premiere. Like after at the end of the premiere and like a little bit before the premiere or like before the end of the premiere. It takes place like it's a little weird, like this is an A, it's a little bit weird and like time frame is everything like that. Um I liked it when like that that was a hard hit when you even punched uh Gabriel instantly. Because, like it was like like not in the milliseconds, like bam and his face just like Gabriel's head just moves backwards and goes back. If I were Gabriel, my first instinct would be like, kill him. Be done. Anyway, this is my review. I think it was a good episode. Not that better episode than episode 3, but it still was a very good episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, comment out what you guys think about the episode. Subscribe and like for more. And bye. Peace out.